Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, we are going to um, present a new concept in Guardian, your personal health tracker. So the problem uh, we've, uh, we found out that people, uh, it's not that people doesn't want to be healthy, eating healthy. They don't know, uh, they don't generally don't have enough knowledge to know that, that if uh, the things they eat is not healthy or not. People like to let that small thing slip away, so like if you, see, you saw a bowl of finger food, you just uh, you think like, okay, maybe just one piece, and then the next thing you know, you eat the whole bowl. And, and people tend to forget about what they eat, so like they allow themselves a cheap meal once in a while, but then they forget about it, and they allow them another meal. So the solution we propose is an application that tracks your food purchases and analyze it to find out that the, uh, find out the food that impacts the user health negatively. It also gives our uh, notifications to user when the purchase is completed, so it's right away. So if the user say let's say want to return it or change the quantity, they can go back into the place they purchase it and do it right away. It also provides the user to, to track such purchase like over time. And it also helps users learn more about the things they purchase or consume. Example use case. This is me. Last night at the supermarket looking at cheese because I like cheese. And after buying bacon for my dinner, I bought myself a little snack bag. Okay, I like three. <laughs> and then uh, I go out and go do the checkout as usual. And after I done the check uh, the checkout process, I get a notification on my phone. Hmm, seems like I just purchased some unhealthy snack. Let's have a look at it. So this is just a concept. <laughs> As you can see, the, uh, the application knows that I just purchased three bags. And we have even had a perfect time on it. And here are the nutrients and calorie content for uh, 100 gram, uh, which is also available straight on the package. And uh, the calories and why they consider chips unhealthy food. Uh, so this is a detailed screen. This is what the, the purchase history looks like. So as you can see, this one is uh, this one, which I didn't re uh, didn't return. This one I returned because I feel guilty. And this one I bought uh, a large quantity of something, but uh, it's a for a party, so I can add a note for it. So in, in this example, I just show like uh, junk food and um, food that like uh, pre-processed. But uh, the possibility are endless. Like if we have that, we have access to my data, so we have access to user health information, and uh, we can compare that and do much, much more uh, than just this. Because uh, at the end of the day, we want to have improving your health one item at a time. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Victoria. I need to ask Pepe that do you think that this is going to kill the junk food business and explode the healthy food business? Let's make the things that way that the customer make to choose by yes. himself. Yes, uh, exactly. Uh, the, the application in themselves just give our notification and warning. It doesn't like um, uh, blocking user from purchase such item as you can see. So that the decision to buy it or not, or like reduce the quantity or not, came down to the user themselves. So we don't want to take anything away from anyone. We just want to remind them that this is not good for your health, and you have the, the choice to do it uh, or not to do it.